it's Kelly McClure with you in the aluminum forest and today we are going to untangle some palms. These are from an Arendelle P6. I had never seen one before I bought one on eBay. It's a six foot 45 branch detachable palm but look how sad and tangled and tired these are. We're going to make them much happier. We are going to go from this to this and we're going to get to this. It's not hard, it just takes forever. All you need to do a restoration like this is a good pair of tweezers and a pack of little hair rubber bands from the drugstore. We're going to start on the outside and Maybe your fingers will work better for this work. We'll need the tweezers when we get closer to the inside, but you wanna pull up the outer area so that you can get a firm, solid grip on the palm without doing a lot of damage and making the crimping on the outside worse. So you just start pulling up or don't worry about um, a whole lot of specifics here. You just want to generally smooth out the base. And so as you can see, the, the red is supposed to be on the inside. The silver is on the outside. So it is easy to see which direction these wild tentacles are supposed to go. And um, we're going to straighten out these few outer bands and then we're gonna get bold and go further in. We've made some inroads in straightening out the base so we can hang on to it. As you can see, it's still a mess and it's all tangly in there. You see how puffy it is? It's a bunch of tangled business in there. Um, and guys, when you're restoring and working on these trees, you are going to lose a needle or two. Look how brittle that was. I mean, and now you just start with a section, just a side, and you start pulling these back. These right here aren't too bad. They're all pretty straight. We just keep peeling these back and we're at this point, just trying to get to the tangled mess. So the ends, don't worry too much about getting them straight while you're trying to do all this. We'll work on that after we have untangled everything. So keep pulling them back and work your way around. This is where it starts to get interesting and frustrating. It's hard to know what's what in here, but if you just do one needle at a time and in the, if you see this one, I don't even know if you can see this. This needle is so stuck in here. You want to be so careful. So that is really stuck and I don't want to break it. So what I'll do is I'll just go around and start another section and loosen up something else that's, that's got that all tangled up and um, eventually we'll be able to free that one. But just work your way around. Okay, we have found the middle. See the hole? And we still have some straightening out to do, but once you can get to the middle and see the hole right there, um, you are well on your way to restoring your palm. A little finger work, a little work with the tweezers. And as you can see, it already looks better. Um, but we are going to get all this straightened out with our tweezers a little bit at a time. So uh, you see this bend right here. Let's see if we can do three at one time. <laughs> Rarely works that way. 
but you just want to do a counter tweak with your tweezers. And guys, restoring aluminum trees is never about perfection. It just doesn't work that way. Um, but the overall result can be stunning. Once you find the middle and are able to get, get everything going in the right direction, then you want to go through and find the kinks. That one was, and y'all, it can break so easily too um, when the bends are that severe. So be careful. You can warm it up with your fingers a little bit and um, go through and find the worst of the worst. And little by little, we're making progress. This palm was the worst out of the 45 for this tree. It was also dry. We lost a little, but it does look so much better. And now I'm gonna show you how to swaddle it for storage. You wanna slide your hand down the palm like that, holding gently, it might look like I'm holding it firmly, but very gently and using your one drugstore hair rubber band, slide it on slowly, making sure that everything is in order and if you have to kind of comb them a little bit look I'm lost this one's really brittle um, maybe we won't comb through it so much just accept this one as the not the pick of the litter but slide that up and it's just gentle pressure from that rubber band. It just happens to be a really great size. And we'll do a second one for the base. And we're going to do all 45, just like that. It took hours upon hours to get all 45 of these palms restored and swaddled. Of course, your results can vary between palms depending upon the condition of them starting out. This, the one on the left is probably the one that was in the best condition. Starting out, and this one was the worst one that we were working with. And just to show you. Ta-da! This one does look better, but it didn't start out as rough, but still. Call it a win.